Okay, so here we are at the Movement Against the Monarchy March, or the Fuck the Monarchy March, at uh, Speaker's Corner, and you're here. Can you tell me why? I'm here because we're coming to the millennium, and I can't believe that this archaic feudal system is still going. My family should have been banned a long time ago, years ago. Do you not think that this is just a matter of normal um, adolescent rebellion against your uh, family? I mean, what will Philip say when he sees you here? I don't care what Philip says. I will never communicate with him anyway. Our family's dysfunctional, parasites. We need to get kicked out of this country. We're nothing more than living on the backs of the working people. It's about time our palaces were given away as hotels for all the working class who can't afford a holiday, for all the homeless people who are living in these subways. Fine, thanks. Would you say that that adds up to a, an anarchist take? How would you describe that? Would you, would you call that yourself anarchist? I am an anarchist. It's about time that I, I got myself out of the royal family. I need to leave it. People up there want to kill me. They've got a guillotine for me later in the march. Too, it's Fine. too good for me. That's, that's very... So at last the, the, uh, the remorse is beginning to show through. After years and years, we're coming up to the millennium. Why have people just cottoned on to the fact that the royal family are a parasitic feudal system that should have been abolished hundreds of years ago. It's a load of rubbish. Fine. And can I ask your brother whether you agree <laughs> with this? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. And um, why, why are you personally here? Well, I thought I might as well do something useful for the first time in my life. That's fine. Would you agree that you are also an anarchist? Well, well yeah, yeah. How would you define it then? Define what would it. you say is an alternative anarchist society? Well, one without the royal family for a start. Anybody yeah. with any ounce of uh, feeling for what freedom or equality is cannot uh, have anything to do with the royal family or the monarchy as an institution based on inheritance, inherited wealth. Well, in that case, why don't you support Tony Blair and the Labour Party's gradualist approach towards <laughs> changing things? Well, gradualist approach to everything being exactly the same. It's a, it's a road to nowhere, that idea. OK, that's fine. What about yourself? What's your attitude towards...? Yeah, I mean, we need drastic action. Drastic action now. I mean, he's never done a day's work in his life, has he? In the millennium, we should send open up a pit and send him down to the pit. That, that'll show him what working people do. Send him down here on a soup run. None of this Lady Diana business walking around AIDS wards. We need to do some real work. Not for the cameras. Fine. And um, how long? How well do you think this movement is going to grow up? What's going to happen after today? Do you think it's going to get massive? Hey. And when you when <coughs> when do you aim to get rid of um, the whole sh shebang? Well, uh, by about six o'clock today. Six o'clock today. That would that's be a fine. good. That would be good. That that's would be a good turnout. Program. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thanks. Have you got anything else you'd like to say? Uh, just go out and do it. This is an issue that could unite just about everybody. I can't understand why there's uh, all these so-called left-wing ideas around in different people's heads, all socialist parties, where are they, you know? They, they never do anything. So for you, this is, and an anarchy is about direct action taking power for yourself? Well, it has to be. Any sort of radical politics has to be. It yeah? has to be out here trying to unite people of all sorts of... Uh, different backgrounds, different to countries, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, wherever. This is an issue which millions of people could unite behind. Great. OK. Have you got anything to ask? Well, the work? band's playing. They're after our blood. We need to go. OK. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers. Great.
say a few words. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, how are you, Chris? All right? I'm all right, nice one. Yeah. So, another extravaganza? Ah, oh, good start. How many do you think you're going to get? Well, I think if it had been back in fair weather, we had about 2,000. I think probably now we're going about 500. What's the next move? Uh, the next move is this is basically a shot across the bows. We're having a bit, we've got Trafalgar Square booked on May the 1st next year for a march from Kennington to Trafalgar Square and on to Buckhouse. So, this is basically something to say that we're out there, we're going to rattle the gates of Buckingham Palace, but the big one will be next year. Next year we're open for tens of thousands. The day we've had a couple of thousand, the weather have been all right, we still get about, I think, building up 500 to 1,000 people. And it's just like a psychological break, saying we can get rid of the monarchy. And they sit at the apex of the British class system, and someone's got to rattle the gates first, so we'll do it today. So why don't you do it by supporting Mr Blair's gradualist approach? Well, I think Mr. Blair is the greatest supporter of the monarchy there's ever been. He's no intention of rattling anyone's cages. <laughs> so, uh, can you say um, what support you've had from other sections of the left? None at all. Not interested. Monarchy, passe. Oh, a movement, you know, march against the monarchy. Oh, it's just, isn't that old hat? Isn't that old? Not interested. The left's interested in more. They're chasing General Pinochet around, you know, and other things which really interest the British working class. And um, what about the more genteel sections of the Republic? Yeah, there are, some, with you? there are some members of Republic, the, the sort of think tank type organisation here, some of the older members are there, and I think they're significantly fed up with sitting around having position papers, and they've joined us today, so I think that's, they're very welcome. The, the many celebrities we see uh, slagging off and attacking the monarchy on the, on the television, are they coming out? No, I think closet? they're conspicuous by their absence. I think uh, maybe next May they'll come out. I think what we got here is no one famous at all, which we're very proud to have. Would you say this was a predominantly an anarchist movement? No, I don't think it is. I mean, I really do not. I mean, there's a lot of people who've sort of cut their teeth on reclaim the streets and stuff like that. But it's a complete mixture of people. It really is. A lot of old, all sorts of people here. Right. Would you like to say anything, as this is a continuation from the previous time, of, uh, on the subject of anarchy and direct action? Not really. I just think that considering the fucking rain, there was going to be a very interesting fucking march. We're going to get to Buckingham Palace, the guillotine of beer in a minute, and I'm fucking amazed so many people have turned up. Well, good luck. And it's nice to see you again. Thank you. You have one of them, have you? Yeah. yeah. Give us. No, I haven't received one yet. Wet and soft. Lanes, look. 